At T-Mobile for Business, unconventional thinking means we see things differently so you can focus on what matters most. That's why we've become the leader in 5G, number one in customer satisfaction, and a partner who includes 5G in every plan. So you get it all. Unconventional thinking is better for business. Open Signal Awards T-Mobile as America's fastest 5G network USA. 5G user experience report July 2021. Capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com. For JD Power 2020 award information, visit JDPower.com slash awards. What's better than Outback's limited time features? Enjoying them with your mates, obviously. There's bloomin' fried shrimp for Jessica. That is, like, so crispy. Espresso butter to spice up Henry's filet. Mmm, so bold, so juicy. And a smoked cinnamon pecan old-fashioned that'll make Picky Pete's taste buds tingle. I'd order another round. At Outback, we've got something for everyone. So come in, relax and enjoy. Because good food is best with good mates. Come grab your table today at Outback Steakhouse. Sci-fi, to be R O B to be, by Kurt Vonnegut. Everything was perfectly swell. There were no prisons, no slums, no insane asylums, no cripples, no poverty, no wars. All diseases are conquered. So was old age. Death, barring accidents, was a venture for volunteers. Population of the United States was stabilized to forty. Million souls. One bright morning in Chicago, lying in hospital, a man named Edward K. Worrell Hailing Jr. waited for his wife to give birth. He was only one man waiting. Not many people were born a day anymore. When he was 55, a mere strapling in the population, his average age was 129. Actually, it's revealed that his wife was going to have triplets. The kid children would be his first. Young Wimerick was hunched to his chair, his head in his hand. He so rumpled, so still and colourless, as to be virtually invisible. The camouflage was perfect. Since the waiting room was had a disorderly and demoralised air too, chairs and ashtrays had been moved away from the walls, the floor was paved with splattered dry cloth, drip cloths. The room was very being redecorated. It had been redecorated as a moral memorial to men who had volunteered to die. Sardonic old man who was two, about 200 years old, sat on a stepladder painting a mural he did not like. Back in the days when people aged visibly, his age would have been guessed at 35 or so. Aging had touched him that much before the cure for aging was found. The mural he was working on depicted a very neat garden, men and women in white, doctors, nurses, turned to soil, planted seedlings, sprayed bugs and spread fertilizer. <coughs> Men and women in purple uniforms pulled up weeds, cut down plants. They were old and sickly, rank leaves, carried refuge to trash burners. Never, never, never. Not even in medieval Holland or nor old Japan had a garden been more formal, even better, been better tended. Every plant had all alone, light, water, air, and nourishment it could use. Ross Hawley came down from the corridor, singing under his breath a popular song. If you don't like my kisses, honey, hey, what's all I, I do? You see a girl in purple, kisses sad, what will toad you do? If you want, don't, don't want my loving, why should you like taking up this space? I'll get off this old planet, there's some sweet baby to have my place. Well, he looked at the memorial and the this. Looks so real, he said. I can practically imagine I'm standing in the middle of it. What makes you think you're not in it? said a painter. Gives her a seraphic sur- smile. It's called the happy garden life, you know. As good, Dr. Hiltz said orderly. He was referring to one of the male figures in white, whose head was a portrait of Dr. Benjamin Hates. Hates, of the hospital's chief obsession. Hiltz was a brilliant, brightly handsome man. Lots of faces fill, still not fill in, said orderly. He meant the faces of many and the figures and the memorial were still blank. All blanks were to be filled with portraits of important people or either the hospital, st- hospital staff and Chicago office of Federation Bureau of Termination. It must be nice to be able to make a picture. That looks so weird, like something, said the orderly. Payne's face cold with scorn. You think I'm proud of this drab, he said. You think this is my idea of what life really looks like? 
What's your idea of what life looks like? said Orderly. Pay a gesture to the foul deep, deep drop cloth. Yeah, there's a good picture of it. He said, frame that and you'll have a picture damn might sight more honest than this one. You gloomy old duck, aren't you? said Orderly. Is that a crime? said the painter. Louise shrugged. I don't, ha- I don't like it. If you don't like it, Grandpa, he said. Finish the thought when the phone trick trick telephone number the people who didn't want to live anymore were supposed to call zero in the number he pronounced not the number was to brew o to be it was a telephone number for an institution whose fanciful subgrants included Altamart, Birdland, Canary, Catbox, Delauza, Easy Go, Goodbye Mother, Harry Hooligan, Kiss Me Quick, Lurky Pierre, Sheep Dip, Evelyn, Warren Benova, Week No More, and Why Not Worry? Or To Be or Not To Be? As a telephone number of the municipal gas chambers, the Federation Bureau of Termination. Painter thumbed his nose at the elderly. When I say it is time to go, he said, I won't be at the Sheep Dip. I'll do it my, yourself for her, said all the messy business, Grandpa. Why do you, don't you have a little consideration of people who have to clean you up after you? Pay you express for them with certainty. You lack a certain tribulation for survivors. It would, the world could go on with a good deal more mess. Could do with a good world, a world could do with a good deal more mess, if you ask me, he said. We laughed and moved on. Willing and waiting father mumbled something about raising his head, and he felt silent again. A coarse formal woman strode in the waiting room on spike heels, her shoes, stocking, trench coat, bag, and overseas cap. All purple, purple painter, called the colour of grapes at Judgment Day. With that in a purple mosaic bag was a symbol of church of Service Division of the Federal Division Bureau of Termination, the Eagle Perch and Turnstile. The woman had a lot of facial hair, a mistaken moustache. In fact, the curious thing about dress chamber hostesses was no matter how lovely and terminating they when they were recruited, they all sprouted moustaches within five years or so. Is this where I'm supposed to come? she said to the painter. A lot would would depend on what business that your business was, he said. Aren't you are you aren't about to have a baby, are you? They told me, they told me I was supposed to pose for some pictures. She said, "My name's Laura, Laura, Laura Duncan." She waited. Are you all drunk? Are you drunk, people? He said. What? She said. Skip it. He said. That sure is a beautiful place. He said. Just like heaven or something. Or something said Peter, to a blight list of names from his smack, smock pocket. Duncan, 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 he said, screwing his fist. Yeah, here you are. You're entitled to be mentimotized, to mentimotized. See any faces, body here? You like to stick your head on? You've got a few choice ones left. She said it a very week bleakly. Gee, she said, they're all the same up to me. All the same to me. I don't know anything about art. A body, a body's body, huh? He said, all right, yeah, as a master of live eye art, I recommend the body here. He gave the faces figure of a woman carrying dried stalks of a, on, of a trash burner. Well, said Laura in the Duncan. That's more, that's more than disposal people, isn't it? I mean, I'm in service. I don't do any disposing. Painter clapped his hands with mock delight. You say you don't know anything about art and you prove... Data is the digital world's most precious resource. And with Backblaze, an easy-to-use cloud storage provider, you can make sure your data is truly secure and available. Whether it's music, documents, photos, or anything else, Backblaze offers an unlimited computer backup solution. Plus, everything is accessible worldwide via web and mobile applications. Backblaze backs up your entire Mac or PC, and it's just $7 per month. Your data is everything. Back it up, access it, and use it with Backblaze. For a 15-day free trial, visit backblaze.com slash holidays. Ohio needs nurses now. 
Xavier University is offsetting the demand by offering individuals with non-nursing bachelor's degrees an accelerated path to the profession. With locations in Cincinnati, Cleveland, and Columbus, our ABSN program enables adult learners like you to earn a respected Bachelor of Science in Nursing in 16 months. So what are you waiting for? There's no better time than now to step up and become a nurse. Search Xavier ABSN to apply. It in sex, Beth. You know more about it than I do. Of course, as she carries is wrong for her hostess, a sniffer, a pruner. That's more like your line. You pointed to a figure on the purple, sowing a dead branch from an apple tree. How about her? He said. Like her at all? Gosh, he said. She blushed to become him humble. That puts me right next to Dr. Hoots. That upsets you, she said. He said. Good gravy, no, she said. No, it's such an honour. Oh, you admire him, huh? She said. Why doesn't and who why who doesn't admire him? She said, well, she didn't approach it. It's it's a portrait of a tan, one hundred eight haired man, white haired, ombudsman Zeus, two hundred and forty years old. Who doesn't mind him? She said again. He was supposed to setting up the first guest chamber in Chicago. Nothing would please me more, said the painter. To put you next to him of all of all time, sorry off a limb, strikes you as appropriate. That is a kind of like what I do, she said. She was demure about how she did what she did. What she did was make people comfortable while she killed them. A while Una Dokan was posing for a portrait in the waiting room bounded Dr. Hitz himself. Seven foot tall and boomed with importance, accomplishment and joy of living. Well, Miss Duncan, Miss Duncan, he said. He made a joke. What are you, what are you doing here? He said, isn't this where the people leave? This is where they, they come in. We're going to be the same picture together, she said, Charlie. Good, said Dr. Hose Hartley. Oh, why is it? Well, isn't that the some picture? I'm sure I'm honoured to be with you, she said. Let me tell you, he said, I'm honoured to be in it with you. Without women like you, this wonderful world we got wouldn't be possible. He slid her and moved towards the door that led to the delivery rooms. Guess just what was born, he said. I can't, she said. Triplets, he said. Triplets, she said. She exclaiming. The legal complications, triplets. The law said that no newborn could survive unless the parents of the child could find someone who would volunteer to die, triplets. They would all live, called for free volunteers. Do the parents have free volunteers, said Laura Duncan. Last I heard, said Dr. Hoots, they had one, trying to scrape the given two up, up. Another two up. I don't think they, they made it. They made it, she said. Nobody made made free appointments with us. Nothing but signal singles doing going through today. No, unless somebody called in after I left. What's the name? Whirling said the forty-two father, sitting up, red-eyed and bavosy. Edward K. Whirling Junior. Name of the happy father to be. He raised his hand, looked at the spot on the wall, gave a hoarsely wrench, no chuckle. Presently, he said. Oh, Mr. Wallin, said Dr. Hoss, I didn't see you. Visual man, said Wallin. They just phoned me that, that your triplets have been born, said Dr. Hoss. All fine, and so did Mother. I'm on my way to see them now. Hooray, said Wallin, empty. You don't sound very happy, said Dr. Hoss. Oh, um, what man in my shoes wouldn't be happy, said Wallin. He gestured with his hands to supplies, for carefree simplicity. All I have to do is pick out which one of the trippers is going to live to deliver my maternal father and father to the happy hooligan and come back here for the receipt? So his so hits became more rather severe with Whirling and over him. You don't believe in population control, Mr. Whirling, he said. I think he's perfectly keen. Said Whirling and Totley, would you like to go back to the golden days when the population of Earth was 20 billion? About 20, before it became 20 billion. 40 billion, then 80 billion, 160 billion. Do you know what a duplet is, Mr. Welling? No, said her, her Welling sulkily. A duplet, Mr. Welling, one of the little knobs, one of the little poppy grains of blackberry, said Dr. Hoots. Without population control, human beings would be packed on this surface like this old plate like duplets and a blackberry. Think of it. Welling continued to stare at the same spot on the wall. It's in the year 2000, said Dr. Hoots. Before somebody stepped in and laid down a law, there wasn't even enough drinking water to go around. Mm-hmm. Nothing to eat but seaweed. 
And still people sit on and having their right to produce like jackrabbits. Their right, if it's possible, to live forever. I want these those kids, said William quietly. I want all three of them. Of course you do, said the host. That's only human. I don't want any of my grandfather to die either, said Wilding. Nobody's really happy about taking a close relative to cat box, said Holtz gently, sympathetically. I wish people wouldn't call it that, said Lorraine Duran. What, said Dr. Holtz? I wish people wouldn't call it the cat box and things like that, said uh, it, go, it gives people a wrong impression. You're absolutely right, said Dr. Holtz. Forgive me, he corrected himself, gave the wonderful, wonderful, remember, suitable gas company a special title, a title no one ever used in conversation. Should have said Ethical Suicide Studios, he said. That sounds so much better, said Lorraine, Lorraine Duncan. This one, this child of yours, however, is one of you decide to keep, Mr. Wally, Dr. Holtz. He or she is going to live on a happy, roomy, green, rich planet, made to population control with a garden like the Muriel was there. He shook his head. Two centuries ago, when I was a young man, it was a hell that nobody could have would la- last another twenty years. A century of peace and plenty, plenty stretched before us, far as imagination cares to travel. He smiled luminously. The smile faded as he saw that Welling had just drawn a revolver. When he shot to, to Holt's dead, a room for one, a big, great big one. He said. Then he shot Duncan, Lorraine Duncan. It's only death, he said to her. She fell. There's room for two. He shot himself, making room for all three of his children. Nobody came running. Nobody seemingly heard the shots. Pain is set on the top of the set ladder, looking down reflectively on the sorry scene. Painter pondered the mournful puzzle of life demanding to be born. Once born, demanded to be fruitful, to multiply, to live as long as possible. To do all that on a very small planet would have to last forever. The answers that Painter could think of were grim. Even grim as shot in the cat box, a happy hooligan, an easy go. He thought of war, he thought of a plague, he thought of salvation. He knew that he could never paint again, that he let his paintbrush fall to the drop cloths below. He had decided that he had enough of life, had we got on life too. Came slowly down from the ladder. He took Valine's pistol, really, really tending, intending to shoot himself. But he didn't have the nerve. He saw a telephone booth, the corner room. He went to the and dialed the well-remembered number. To brew or to be? For it was brew of termination, said the very warm voice of Hotress. How should... As soon could I have a good appointment, he asked, speaking very carefully. We could probably fill you in late this afternoon, sir. So we might be earlier, even earlier, if we could get a cancellation. All right, he said to Peter, fit me in, if you please. And he gave her his name, spelling out. Thank you, sir, said her hostess. Your city thanks you, your country thanks you, the planet thanks you, but the deeply thanks of all from the future generations. Data is the digital world's most precious resource, and with Backblaze, an easy-to-use cloud storage provider, you can make sure your data is truly secure and available. Whether it's music, documents, photos, or anything else, Backblaze offers an unlimited computer backup solution. Plus, everything is accessible worldwide via web and mobile applications. Backblaze backs up your entire Mac or PC, and it's just $7 per month. Your data is everything. Back it up, access it, and use it with Backblaze. For a 15-day free trial, visit backblaze.com slash holidays. You coming to bed, hon? Yep, honey, I'll be right there. Just got to turn out the light. Ow! 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 Ah! Ah! Some things never change. Like your kids always leaving tiny toys on the floor for you to step on. And Geico saving folks lots of money on their car insurance. Sweetie, I think I left the downstairs light on. Please don't make me go. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.